There's been a major breakthrough in the murder investigation of bikey Shane Bowden, who was gunned down in the driveway of his Gold Coast home. Police have arrested and charged the leader of a rival gang, but the men who pulled the trigger are still on the streets. In handcuffs, hiding his face as he's taken into the watch house. This is Ian Croden, the man police say is the mastermind of a cold-blooded execution, one of Queensland's most high-profile bikey murders where we've arrested a 46-year-old male and charged him with the murder of Mr Bowden. Detectives searching the Ipswich home where he was taken into custody, <laughs> seizing a car. He's accused of orchestrating the killing of rival gang member Shane Bowden, a Finks enforcer shot 21 times at Point Blank Range in the driveway of his Gold Coast home last October. In the weeks before his death, Bowden was stalked. The killers caught on camera placing a GPS tracker on his car and loading fuel into getaway vehicles found burnt out near the scene. The crime unsolved until today. In my service, I've seen a number of outlaw motorcycle gang crimes. Uh, you never see them act alone because they're, they're bullies. Police say the accused killer is the president of the Brisbane West chapter of the Mongols. For the Mongols, Bowden was public enemy number one. He was run out of Victoria by the gang, surviving a drive-by shooting in Melbourne last July. Returning to the Gold Coast, still in a wheelchair when he came through quarantine, a month later, he was murdered. There's a number of potential motives for that, but it's clearly a club-sanctioned execution. Detectives say Croden is the head of the snake, the facilitator and the financier of the operation, but he didn't pull the trigger. When the investigation is over, as many as a dozen people could be charged. All those people involved in the, the various stages of the planning of this are culpable. Just because you're not the actual trigger man doesn't mean you won't be charged with murder. The shooters are still walking free, so are the getaway drivers as well as other accomplices and bikey associates with knowledge of the crime. For that reason, police are offering indemnity from prosecution as well as a $250,000 reward for information. Our detectives are closing in. And their message to the people involved is come forward now and save yourself. We will be alleging that this person is the president of the Brisbane West chapter of the of the Mongols Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. He's not the trigger man. Um, he's a high-ranking member in this organisation. Uh, therefore, he would have some autonomy, but there's also other office bearers above him. So where they fit is yet to be determined. Really, uh, time is against these people. We've got time. They don't. They don't want to be the last one on the indemnity bus. The getaway driver is culpable. The people, uh, all those people involved in the the various stages of the planning of this are culpable. Just because you're not the actual trigger man doesn't mean you won't be charged with murder.